Well, I'm Sean, so. Jim. Hey, Jim. You want to tell me a little bit about your cars? Evidently, I, it's, so you have that one, that one, that one, that, that one, one, that one? That one I found in a barn in Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, what part of Pennsylvania? Lancaster. Okay, I'm from Bucks County. So okay. I yeah, was, I found that there. a buddy of mine. I had that same car in high school, and then uh, my buddy was working on their house. Right. And he's like, Jim, you'll never guess what's in their garage. I'm like, so he sent me a picture. I asked the people if they wanted to sell it the first day. Right. Said no. Second day he was finishing the job. They said, okay. I flew up the next day and bought it. I mean, that thing's 100% original, 13,000 miles on it. Just a survivor, 13,000 miles survivor. survivor. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. He's got a gold Firebird Trans Am over there that he found in Pennsylvania. Um, we talked to him about this and these are some beautiful cars. He's also looking for a Ram Air 4 GTO Judge. So if you know of one, put it in the comments. He would love to get one. So we're gonna thank Jim for letting us go and take a look at his cars. These are all original survivors. All right, guys, so this is Jim's really true barn find survivor. It has 13,000 original miles on it. It's got the original paint. He found it when his friend was doing some work in a house in Pennsylvania, and it was just sitting there. He decided to make an offer on it. It took a couple days, and then he owned it. It is now, if as you look at it, it's Al hit sad. It has only got 13,000. It's a 1978 special edition trans am y88 l78 so when we talk about really cool barn finds this is one of them too bad we didn't find it when we were in pennsylvania videotaped it where we found it but it's down here so let's take a quick look at it i couldn't videotape it either i'm so excited on the plane i left my phone on the plane oh <laughs> so no pictures of where it was sitting no but that's okay. Yeah. Look at this car. And it's gold. I mean, this was like the the gold was, if it wasn't black, it had to be gold. Yeah. Basically for these they cars. They made them basically three months. Wow. Because so, they, they had a problem with the solar gold when they would have an accident or something. They couldn't match it. Oh, because you couldn't so match it because it's a metallic color. And then they came up with a different solar gold. So this is one of the this few is, solar yeah. gold cars. This was actually made in the first month. So, of the three months. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they only made these. So he's saying they only made them for three months, and because you couldn't match the paint, because it's one of those metallic paints, so they stopped making it and then changed the color gold. Got those great '80s honeycomb wheels on it. '70s and '80s honeycomb wheels. It's got a really nice saddle interior. Dashboard's not cracked or anything. This thing has been well maintained because it just sat quietly with 13,000 miles on it. So they had the the jack stands and they would just start it every week or every so other week. So were they keeping it to sell it or they? I have no, no idea. idea. Yeah, they, I have no idea. See, these cars are like when your grandmother puts the plastic stuff on the new couch because she's saving it for the next person, which I never really understood, but I'm glad there's people out there that do that kind of stuff. would have these prismatic dashboards with the prism colors in there.
car. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it worked. There's no rust. Yeah. Right. right. Original air conditioning. Wow. And it has not been updated to the new air conditioning, right? No, it this has, yeah. Oh, this has, yeah. okay. Compressor and everything's all right. Original air cleaner. What's that? Is that the 455? No, 400. The 400, yeah. Okay. I think Dennis Collins just tried to buy one of these. chicken.
Hey guys, how you doing? I uh, just wanted to give, this is only a real quick update on what we're doing is if you are in Southwest Florida, in the Naples Marco Island area, uh, the week before Thanksgiving on November 20th, we will be at the Rookery Bay uh, car show. And I will be giving three talks. I will be going over three 20 minute talks on what we do on my channel, how to find junkyards and barn finds, how to, you know, talk about what we do in Naples, Florida. Uh, that's where we will be, Naples, Marco Island area. Come on down and uh, say hi to us, buy a t-shirt, listen to what we have to say, ask us questions, and take pictures if you want. So we'll see you on uh, November 20th at the Rookery Bay Car Show. April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.